Okay, now we need to decide on a game to play because I I'm lost. I don't have anything right now. I want something with a nice storyline. I like a good story. You know what I mean? Before your eyes. Let me take a look at that. Before your eyes. Oh, it's 50% off on Steam right now. 50% off. I think we found our game. I think we found our game. <clears throat> I'm definitely not only purchasing this because it's half off. Um, it is definitely because I am very interested in the game and would love to play it. Yes. All right. This is before your eyes. Wait, enable on-screen webcam feed. Oh my God. I am so squished, dude. Do you see me? <laughs> Why do I look so squished? Wide people, Anthony. Okay, that was good. <laughs> Blinking on the white symbol. Oh, it worked. It worked. When you see a metronome and blink, what? Oh my God. Oh my god. What's happening? Where, where am I? Am I? Shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with or hands to Some shake with. Stinky boat here. Nose to look down with. I can look down. We're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. What? So if you understand what I'm saying. And the blink over my hand here. Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> uh, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves? These are souls? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. We're special. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch. Or what's a better word? Ah. A premonition. Premonition. A soul's worth pulling up. I'm like Harry Potter. Like, you see that tower out there? The big scary. Holy. Bunch. That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stern. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. She ain't. Well, I eat seagull for dinner again. Seagull. Man, you. Well. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> Are they saying lie? <laughs> you had your chance. It wasn't my fault. You were no good. What the? <laughs> Y'all seen this? <laughs> oh my god, what the? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is. <clears throat> Interesting. So sure, 
Maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there. Are we just like, gonna ignore the fact that he just yard. got down in all fours and barked? Work with. And that's where you come in. Your where I come in. You're gonna show it to me. Okay. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. First thing I can remember. I'm going to send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, oh you're god. Going to jump forward. Every time we blink, could be a second could be 5 years. That's just how this thing works. Oh god. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. But don't be afraid. And don't try to fight it. The thing to remember about blinking is, well, it's only a matter of time. I'm touched you enjoy my company. I really am. But I'll have to ask you to have some respect for the process here. My eyes. There is a dry eye in the house. Two of them. And they belong to this guy, right here. <laughs> no, really, ma'am. I need you to blink. I will not. If I were your eyes, I'd just be pissed at this point. <laughs> No, he sent me back. Well, I didn't <laughs> try to enjoy it this time. Okay. We're in some empty dark space. Oh. Look at that sun. Is this our first memory? We've got a long Just beautiful day ahead of us. Seasons too look a bit different. Why are you smiling like that? I am. You must really like it out blinked the, s the ocean oh interesting wait this is nice this is so relaxing let's go is that get some seashells what do you say that's probably like my mother right okay she just disappeared into no. Oh yes. That's called Nagave. Nagave. Eleven years from now. Shoot. Day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well. Days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Now, where's the first page of my piece? My piece? Piece I can't of what? Find it anywhere. Oh, it found it. Oh, and it's going. You're not gonna find that piece again. I'm sorry. All right, next scene. What's this? Hey, Richard. Look at that. There's your little hand. Benny, one year old. Our name is we Benny. We make him do this every birthday. <laughs> that's a great idea. Is that my? Okay, that's probably the father. See how he grows. Man, the zoom on this thing. Okay, the first birthday party. <laughs> Our name is Benny. <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, it's a block. Piano? Oh, you want to play along with mommy, uh, don't you? Not really, no. Just give it time. Okay, sure I guess. Be better with it's, a, it's a boat. Sounds good, honey. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? I like the music. That's very specific. Get me out of here. I don't like that memory. What's this? Space. Clouds? What do you think he's thinking about? Oh, it's my toy boat. <laughs> this is nice. 
So, do you think he's going to be smart? You think he's going to be smart? Why not? I mean, what kind of question? We're both pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he's going to be necessarily. Uh. You're right. Yeah, pop these bubbles. Did I get them all? You know, it doesn't really matter, I guess. True. Oh, shoot, I blinked. What is no, this? it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Derivative? What does that mean? Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee? Oh, <laughs> it's in my freaking boat, bro. Right. This kid is obsessed no, with a. Oh. I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my case, John. It Beautiful really artwork. You really see where my artistic talent came from. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. What'd you say? Row? Uh, no? You know, if you keep working at it, one day you'll be able to paint exactly what's in your head. Oh, you'll thanks. Be a real artist. Is this soup and soap soap scamp scut I I don't know what that says what is this oh oh see that used to be my piano my dad oh did it, did it say scrapbook <laughs> okay that makes more sense fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it so her mom is a pianist. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Beethoven. Yeet. Is that it? What is this? I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything though. Damn. He was what you might call the strong silent. A strong silent type. believe I grew up in the snow. No! Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something? I wanted really to know more. Special? Box. I just don't want him to get attached. This is definitely an animal. Richard. What? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, what's wrong uh, with that? Uh, we can't keep him. Can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. Find something. No, I blinked. It's actually pretty cute. Now play the C major chord I taught you. C major Remember? chord. I think I am the pianist. There you go. Oh, I did Doesn't it. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Not particularly. Like you just jump up and down. Now what about C minor? Bro, how am I supposed to know Remember this? Remember how to play that one? No. Good. Oh, I'm a prodigy. This one note different. That one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference. <laughs> Look at this one cat. <laughs> He's so cute. Feels. <laughs> Any allergies? <gasps> Off medication. And your little friend on your piano there. I use Zyrtec. I didn't even blink. Okay. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I'm cheaper than hiring movers. Trust me. <laughs> I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. She dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Where would you want to go? If you could only go to one. I would go to Greece. Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. Shoot my eyes. Man, I gave you some unfortunate genes, didn't I? 
luckily, among the some good ones. So, yeah, let's hope they balance each other out. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Oh, what is this? What are we doing? January 7th. Oh. Oh, wait. wait is that... That's my piece. Wait, what? Th I'm just playing this... Richard? <laughs> I'm just playing... What? <laughs> it's playing my piece. <laughs> I'm just playing the same what note over and over here? again. <laughs> what the... I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. We need to get him to serious piano lessons? You know anyone who might be a good teacher for him? What? I mean, in the city, sure. Not out here, I don't. Yeah, look at me go. I know someone who might be up for the task. Oh, we're getting a piano teacher. Very gifted. Richard, no one in this town knows anything. Maybe I'll just have to do it myself. Good idea. I think that settles it. So who's this mysterious woman you're talking about? <laughs> I hope you're not in love with her. <laughs> what? You know, I really was for a while, but then she revealed herself as a smut. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <gasps> oh, God, I have my interview in five minutes, and I completely forgot to feed him. Feed him? Me? Oh, what the? For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. Oh, what the? Is that our food? Bro. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized in the... Oh, our cat's getting it's bigger. On my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you Oh, get look at us go. Oh, what my God. What possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. Uh, 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 that wasn't me. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. Ooh, oh, that looks edible. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Is he eating cat food? Please let the cat know. Time to use the litter box, though. <laughs> Baby steps. He's got one eye. Oh. What is what does that say? L L corporate Ellie Stevens corporate uh, account accountant. Oh. What is this? This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. Metronome. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking that I might be a work of genius just as I was. He said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. No such thing. Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh. Why'd the music stop? What's going on? Wait, was I not supposed to blink there? You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Stay in time with the metronome. Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. Is this copyright? Hold up. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that. I'm not off. What? I was I was doing beautifully. Oh my god. There you go, buddy. 
Okay, now keep a firm grip oh my on god. It, just like that. Am I tone deaf? Oh my. Well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, Picture. Al, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? Oh, what? What is that? Oh, it's our backyard. Ernie, Ernie. buddy. Ernie? Ernie, we need you. Who's Ernie? God, no. What if he got eaten by a coyote? Cat. Wait, for sale? Our cat's me? gone? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. God, Our cat. I'm worried too. Our cat. Our cat. Ernie. No, Ernie. Oh, my God. So you're oh. saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But... Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Ernie! What Ernie? You uh -huh. did. You, oh my god, Ernie. And that was based on. <laughs> oh my god, we got we got kitties. Coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. What's wrong with that? Were you able to pick up the new book? Yes. And you know, Italian. I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? No. Uh. Uh. Uh-oh. What? What is this? I need eye drops. I actually blinked there, but it didn't count. What's behind the door? The freaking eyes. Come on. Aster. Door. Mod check. Seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. Oh my god, my eyes, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Alright, we will no longer be missing any more portions to this story. My eyes will stay open indefinitely. What is this? But just take it one day at a time. Trust me. Yo, what the? Huh? What happened? You're really getting there, honey. Next week, we'll start working on your other hand. Listen to him, Richard. I've been listening to him in that cover. I thought you said something. Oh, I blinked. Okay. Two brackets on each side. Two screws on each bracket. Uh, two washers on each screw. The quiz said find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing <laughs> to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Relatable. Just kidding. Dinosaurs. Congratulations, B. First hmm. many items in the room. Is this our room? Oh, we're getting a makeover. I want that box. Giveaway. What? If you don't play with it anymore, we're getting rid of it. Getting rid of my toys? Oh, this what the? My house. Who is this kid on the roof of a car, bro? Not my house. Fall back, you fool. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Who is this? A 
playscape. Hey, oh. you. Yeah, you. Come over here. Me? Yes, Mr. Camera Boy. I'm talking to you. Why? What do you want? Uh, am I actually got bro? No, stop. Hello? Oh my god. Who is this freaking person? Why are you always out here taking photos? Why do you care? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe! Quiet, everyone. Betty's about to play for us. Quiet, everyone. Damn, I'm crazy. Look at me go. Unbelievable, my god, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since I'm four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what, what's his field? It's maritime archaeology. Maritime archaeology. Very cool. Hmm. <laughs> but no one really knows what it means. Mm. Unknown legend. <laughs> it's kind of one of those professions that stops a dinner party short. Oh, mm. Okay, more wine? Okay, let's move on. Oh, what was this? The class, world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in. Hey, you. Oh my god, Look you again. Your desk. I wrote you something. We're in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep in mind that we're all we're at school. We do not know each other. Do not talk to me ever. Love Chloe. Not stare off in space. Oh. Go to the next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. Hello? You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh, yes, of course. Hello? I can't even write my own note. Come on, Chloe. We're all waiting. Well, for some reason... What? Oh my god. Alright, you take it. Um, it's oh. people who are in the past. I see. Always remember. I don't know what I'm saying. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Oh my god, we're throwing. What is this? I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. I asked him that he bought it for himself. What is this? Oh, I'm 11 I'm now. Cheap, though. What really is this? Con con oh, con consters. Constars. Consters. Honk. A new con contestant has approached. At long last, your favorite consters are ready for bottle of the play scope. Join Marcy and her four sad brothers as they search for their long. Huh. I've definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. Oh, oh we're sure. friends. We got pizza. Get together in history class. Kind of. I'm kind of hungry. I don't know what I do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thanked me for hanging out with you? That's a very interesting detail. Interesting detail. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I really Why? want this one. Oh, are we Maybe playing clocksters? Pickle stick. Oh my god, look at me. Whoa, that's a pretty good drawing. Oh, whoops. It's called a this? magnet school. Rub Burton Conservatory of Cold Music. Burton? 
Oh, we're transferring you. schools? You know, life can take you to some incredible places. Play big, really, play really be really great, the playscape. Oh, we're moving. We're moving? So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? I don't know. Sorry, just very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? Audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start. Oh shoot. Do I keep blinking? <laughs> oh my god. Am I you can see there are some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try. And you can see if you start enjoying it. Enjoying this? I'd just like to see you really rise to the occasion. Just this once. Rise to the, I wish I had rise the, to the occasion. School like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. Oh. Crumple? What? Um, nah. Is our mom resentful? Is she resentful? Remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Days until audition, 30. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. Oh my God, do not disturb. Where's the do not disturb mode? Wait, is it is it just gonna keep buzzing, dude? <laughs> no. Oh my god, I'm so gifted. Look at me go. Oh my god, who is this? Is she really calling you again? What is she obsessed? Obsessed with me? Oh my god, what is your problem? I explicitly asked you not to pick up this lady keeps calling me freaking while I'm practicing what am I supposed to do okay you know I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that well then don't stick your nose in the things that you're completely checked out of okay man did I just cause a fight with your parents yeah you did but you should also cherish these moments what moments my mom and dad used to fight and I would always hate it but now I actually miss it a lot. Anyway, so basically across the board, crustacean types perform well against mollusk types. So you got to be leaning on lobstar a lot more in these huge battles. Then once we get to the trench, we'll be facing what they call craniate types. So chondric types will be what we need. Uh, but we haven't even gotten an... Okay. Oh, what is this? A new base. In the presence of Ma'at, Ma'at is... Remember, is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased oh. soul <laughs> the... against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale? That is Amamet, and she's got... Hey, Mr. Gold. That's what do you want? What the fur of a lion? See, tonight after my dad goes to sleep, I'm gonna sneak out my house and sleep on the beach. If you want to get invited, draw me a picture of Mr. Isaac feeling constipated. Also, why is there like a freaking letter over my over my face, dude? What? So I am not quite Hello? Sure why I don't hear what is, what is, what is going on here? Right why is he just staring at me? Oh my god. Are you really gonna make me do this?
Do I have to? <laughs> oh my god, I have no choice. Oh, I can skip. Do we skip here? Guys, should I skip? You have like three seconds before I blink. Okay, shoot, I blinked. Well. Slightly worried about having him change schools just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of Sony. Richard, Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Oh. Huh. No, I suppose you're right. Oh, Richard, please. I just like that. Hmm? What's going on? Oh. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. You need to be Memory rested. consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. A master. Richard, are you trying to turn the lights off? Benny, mom says turn the lights off. Mom says you should. Okay. Is that love? Oh my god. Sneak out or try to sleep. Uh, uh, uh. I'm a good kid. Shut up, Chloe. I'm busy. Oh, I blinked. Oops. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. Oh. This is it. Oh my god, we're doing it. We're doing it! We're doing it! We're doing it! Oh my god. I'm going places, Mom. Are you proud of me? I'm a prodigy. Oh. If he doesn't let you in after that, I'm not even sure I'd want you at that school. I'm a prodigy. So much fun up there. That was pretty fun. You rehearsed enough that it felt completely unrehearsed. I'm telling you. Play big, be great. The playscape. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. Who you're going to become? When we get back, let's take Dad up and go down to the beach. What do you say? I want to celebrate. Hmm. Smell that hair. Smell that hair. <laughs> oh. Is this the beach? Sounds like you really nailed it, kiddo. It's not a matter of him nailing it. Oh. You sounded like a professional musician. I'm 11 years old. Wait, I'm 11? That's your mother's name. Make sure it's okay for kids to be professional musicians. <laughs> because they're not. What are you talking about? Performers? Musicians? No. What is they this? Destroy Connect the dots. T. T. A. T A T A C T A E T A E T T A T T Wait, oh why? This is why. No! T what was what did it say? What do you mean? Of course you Come on, dude. Open it it's a tatakai. Oh, acceptance letter. Do we get in here? Dear Benjamin Bryan, thank you for your interest in, in the Burton Conservatory of Music. The admissions committee has given careful consideration to your application. What does it say? Give him time to read it. <sighs> Why are you being silent, Ben? What's it say? Despite an impressive Pressure. audition performance, we regret we cannot offer you admission. That's amazing. 
to our conservatory program. We are proud we are able to attract excellent applicants such as yourself, and we wish you the very best in your future musical pursuits. Dang. I'm sorry, Mom. We want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing huh? clears. Am I sick? Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just okay. give me five minutes, kiddo, okay? Yeah. What's going on? This is a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Just having him home alone is like his lunch time or something. You know? We could focus him. I must make it to the door. Can you please try to speak a little softer? No, where is it going? Door. Is that it? Bruh. Huh? Oh, we're at the beach. And there's a bunch of garbage here for some. Oh, blinked. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure huh. out something actually productive to do. Actually productive school. while you're home from school. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Uh, I've actually heard that line so many times. <laughs> oh my god. Giveaway. What am I giving away? No, not the boat. My boat, dude. Not the boat. My first true love. Oh, we're painting it. We're commemorating it. Why isn't your son eating with us, Al? No. You mean young Vincent? Well, ever since he got sick, all he does is make art. Got sick? Are we sick? Oh, look at us. Oh, crazy! Oh my god, we're so talented. Look at us. Art school application. We can be an artist. <laughs> oh. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There it's a sham? No art. There's no teaching art. Oh no, it doesn't so fit. Don't just sit there slack, Todd. Make art, you ponies. Okay, chill. Chill. Damn, we're talented, bro. Look at us. What the, what the heck did I just see there? Uh what? <laughs> <coughs> 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 I'm 11, right? I, I'm 11 years old, right? It's fine. Just focus on, uh... Oh, how very wacky and fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's freaking naked. It's very zany. Very okay, cute. fine. Here. Oh, whoa! Skip, skip, skip. Oh, what is this? Go, Mr. Brin. 
feel each shape. But you know what? Fine. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I want you all to take a long look at what oh. Mr. Brin has done here. What I have done? You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. I pray you have a strong hold on yourself, Mr. Brin. For I fear talent like these you may soon be swept away by a world maybe maybe i just can't appreciate art for what it is it becomes uh, difficult putting one foot in front of the other oh where am i this just looks like a bunch of lines and circles to me <laughs> i'm sorry maybe i'm just not cultured enough to appreciate abstract art i'm talented though Benjamin Bryan. I'm stunned. The ironic sincerity of the piece is sincerely ironic. I'm a prodigy. He's ripped the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. Oh, oops. Wash, wash, and fold. fold. And it all probably feels weird and alienating and the, heck? the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you huh. one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, Oh. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Interesting. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh. Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. An art agent. Art agent? Uh oh. Do I sign or do I? What? Read the contract. You're so right. What does that say? I cannot read that. Um, I'm signing. I've got a good feeling about you. We're going to make a lot I'm my, I'm, of money together. We're going to make a lot of money? That's not what this is all about. To actually making some money with one's art. Lord knows I could never do it. Wine? Am I still a How old am I? What is my age now? Ooh, that's good. So, now that you've made it. Now that we've so made it. What are you going to do with it? We've made it. Ben Benjamin Brin? Oh, we're famous! They know who I am! That is the aspiration to one day be recognized like this. Damn, look at what we're painting at. Hey, honey. Your work's incredible. Oh. The new stuff is wowing us all. Look at me! Critics are fickle. How about if you go back to your roots? Paint something meaningful. Personal. Personal. Close to your heart. Uh, gotta go. Love you, Mom. Mom. What the? <laughs> meaningful. Personal. What? But really, I I don't want you worrying about it at all. Mom. Danny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do for me right now. All you can do is just keep painting, striving. You make that work of true genius. Mom is sick. I can just tell you're almost what? there. What? So. No, 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 no! Do not hang up. Right. 
that's enough from me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe is the single thing in the world my wife is most proud of. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny, you ready to come up here? Say something. What's wrong? Why aren't you talking? Hey, honey. Guess who's calling? Again? Look. whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> ah, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone, <laughs> but, well, I'm just so happy that you did. He just wanted you to focus on you. That was the only thing that mattered, really. What's that? What's so fascinating, son? Oh, is that the scrapbook? passing day 
inspired by the musical composition of his late mother, the composer Ellie Stevens. Is that really you? It, it's Chloe, your neighbor. Who the hell are you? Oh my God, I can't believe this. It's been years. I, I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love I'm, to walk I'm, through it again with you. I'm having a moment I here. Down for that. I'm. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. All you I wanted to do was play like the conk game, bro. Did. What the? Oh my god. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Hey, so, not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. What the fuck? What the hell? Now would you look at that? Huh? <laughs> You finally hit the jackpot, Slapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a. Whoa! Well, there you are. What? Well, hello, sir. If I realized, I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists. Uh, Couple college athletes here or there, but whew, internationally renowned painter. <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Eat me up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since you know I'm still working on that. Huh? See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper composition. If you catch my drift. What? <laughs> Forget about it. All right. Here we go. Gatekeeper! Before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a happy kid or a lonely one? Jovial child or a solitary one? <laughs> hey, not bad. Hmm. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer? Or an accountant. You can't choose one or the other, though. It's kind of both. She was both. I mean, I was both lonely but happy, right? His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging? or demanding kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster <sighs> therefore as his piano teacher she was over demanding forcing him to practice day in and day out Hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. And how about that neighbor girl? Neighbor girl. What was she to you? Was she your best friend? She was just annoying, first bro. Love. Is there a third option? Yeah, oh my god. Uh, don't be bad. Music became the only thing he truly cared about. Even more than his best friend, Chloe. 
And although he gave it everything he had, he was still rejected from the conservatory his mother desperately wanted. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. The way he's painting this the first time, story is kind of... In a more serious light. <laughs> it's too exaggerated. An exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you dumb girl, you mucky fowl. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. Liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. Did we lie? I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings oh yeah good thinking i'll be back to get you once i'm done with this one hopefully you won't be seeing him again okay um <laughs> you're a flea bit sap you know that what did i do just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Did we say something wrong? Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible. You're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. You just sniff me? We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. Start from the and very this beginning. Time, I want the truth. So that wasn't the truth? This ain't a schoolyard stare. Okay, this is our first memory when we were not this, not this. Okay, with our mom and now the cat. The e major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I I, I haven't found it yet. Oh, doesn't that? Okay. You know my Metronome. father once told me. Oh, I accidentally blinked. This, stay here. 
Where'd your mother be on that phone call? I can't hear. Keep your eyes open. I need to see. My oh my god, I can't, dude. I can't. My eyes, my eyes are so dry. Oh my god, my freaking eyes, dude. Come on, almost there. I'm getting it. God, dude, my freaking eyes. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh. Oh, I see. She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Just Let's move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. Okay, our cat. I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. Oh. <sighs> Don't blink. Don't blink. Don't blink. Almost. Come on. What the heck is that, dude? It's like a dog. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. I've been listening to him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. Is that supposed to be just stuck there? Maybe I should blink because my eyes are hurting. Okay. Oh my god. Hey L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Is there... Come on, keep blinking. I I, I haven't found. Oh. What is this? I want to hear him talking about this. What? Can't blink it. What? I mean, what's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of anything if he's never gonna get any better? Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard? One of us saying something like that. I'd never forgive myself. I'd... It's okay. He's asleep. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs.
Uh, mm, okay. Interesting scene to come back you to. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? I was. Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. I promise. You know what to do. Go ahead and blink. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. A typewriter? Try writing with it. Hi, Mom. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> it was your grandfather, but I used it in college to write lyrics. So artsy. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. What? Do I write about? Why don't you write the story of your life so far? Story of my life so far. And then so what far. you going to do once you get better? That's a story I want to hear. Story of story my of life. Story of who you're going to become, okay? Story of who I'm going to become. The Great Life of Benjamin Bryan. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. His mother was a composer who, with a need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. Music became the only thing he truly cared about, even more than his best friend, Chloe. <laughs> best friend? Okay, Benny. Is that why you didn't sneak out with me? Why not just come home with me? You do realize I waited for you out in the alley for like an hour, right? Ugh. Anyway, back to the story, I guess. He'd love finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. Oh. This is an MRI? You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. What's going on? You're doing great, buddy. Knock, knock. Hello? You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. I can't. Just go in there and tell me you love me. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just can't. Not right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a lonely one, growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, how did you learn to write so well? All those cool words. It reads like Dickens. <laughs> really just... Very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy.
Benjamin Bryan was a loser. He was the worst Brian to ever live. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. He just laid down and died. What the heck is going on? He's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand it hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. The button. So we were, we were sick. So we had a disease? Medicine. Button. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here What's going on Chloe Hey this isn't funny you know What you're too scared to talk to me Well just so you know I know you're faking Because if you were really sick like actually sick you'd have told me already I happen to actually know about this right. stuff. Oh no I missed it Bro, get this thing out of here. Get 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 this get this woman out of oh my god. Jesus I remember Christ. when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. Not as tough as now, but yeah, our music had been rejected and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here, and I feared that I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. And I could just see the little heads reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. Closing your eyes. You can remember. Hello, my eyes are closed. Wait, is that... That's my face. How did you figure out how to play that? Plan B. She's listening. Shoot. Oh, my God. Put the cat in.
you sick? Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, her poor fur. Rich. Oops. Oh my god. hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey... Oh my goodness. I'm gonna die, dude. Fighting. Oh my god, you're an idiot. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. This isn't I, really something um, special to me. I was thinking about what you said in the story the other how I reacted to it. And I feel kind of bad. E. I shouldn't have done that. But... Hey! What are you looking at? Hey. Not you. Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. What do you want? I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? Dear weird neighbor kid, you are my best friend. Love, Chloe. Oh my god, what's going on? My movements are sluggish. I can't take the pills? What is going on? Is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Oh, well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, <laughs> didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. <laughs> what? God, what is going on? What is this thing? Oh my lord. Oh my Jesus. It's not working. It's not working. I'm dying. It, it's okay, Benny. I understand. 
I'm dying. I see the light. Oh, am I dead? No way. Oh. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough what storyteller. Happened? If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Did you just... I know just what to tell her. You just chucked my life story out. Watch for her now. Watch for her. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Get what ready? Don't worry. We got this. I think. What's going on? Gatekeeper. Where's the gatekeeper? that dude what the heck is that there she is wish me luck gatekeeper before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old that means she's ready to hear your story You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of the Benjamin Brin. Great Brin. Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the great life he already had, how he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise, how he met a girl neighbor who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again and how even when he was sick he still gave his parents hope how he reminded them exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten when he was going to go he was okay he lived a great life a, a full life and he was everything he needed to be, just as he was. She accepts. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Go on. Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes.
Wow. That was just wow. That was a good story. That was a good story. I'm gonna be honest. I went into it with actually no expectations at all because uh, I had never seen <laughs> or heard of the game before. But thank you guys for suggesting this. And thank you guys for experiencing that with me. That was, that was beautiful. Um, you know, my eyes kind of hurt. I don't know if it's because of how emotional that story was or just because I kept my eyes open for too long playing that game, but thank you. Just know I appreciate you guys, and if we've learned anything from that story, it's to cherish the things you have before it's too late. So I appreciate you guys, and thank you for joining me on this stream. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone, and have a wonderful rest of your night.